Hello, as we are the biggest futon retailer in Sweden, a lot of questions have come to us during the years how to treat your futon mattresses and I try to explain to everyone that it's a very simple thing to do that you're just gonna have to do once a year but people have asked me over and over and I think it's time now finally to do a YouTube film about how to treat your futon mattress this is a traditional futon mattress straight out of the package straight out of the plastic so it's brand new so maybe then you think about well why would I need to treat a brand new mattress maybe you don't need to do that the first day but after 14 days after using your futon mattress as the cotton is very fluffy when you get your futon mattress you actually do need to treat your futon mattress a little bit and now I will show you how to do it now I just have a piece of plank here you can use any kind of board or baseball bat empty wine bottle or whatever you want it's just a very simple thing that you have to do with your futon from time to time you just have to really give it a good beating so do it whenever you are angry with something if you're angry with your partner or something then give your foot on a good beating. Just pull out the foot on so that you see that the, the, the foot on the, the cotton or whatever you have you can also have a foot on mattress with wool or whatever then you also need to uh, flatten it out, old, uh, out over the mattress so just give it a good beating and when you're finished with one side then just turn it and flip it on to the other side and you might think to yourself well I'm out here in a garden. Not all people that have a food mattress have a garden. Maybe you have a small balcony or maybe you don't have anything at all to do it. But you don't have to. You can do this in your own bed. Just double fold the mattress. And also for the people who have a big food mattresses, which we sell a lot of in Sweden as we don't use them as they do in other countries. In many countries in Asia they always fold up the mattress and move it away during the day or use it as a sofa during the day and so on. So then the mattresses actually naturally get some exercise but we don't do that in Sweden so the most mattresses that we sell are fusion mattresses with a lot of different layers which means that they are very heavy and will be difficult to move but it's enough that you double fold the mattress and then you can fold it on the other side and do this very same thing on the other side give it a good beating so that's it and of course flip it on all sides you can give it uh, as much beating as you can but the most important thing is that you do distribute the loose material in the mattress evenly out over the mattress so it's nothing fancy nothing strange to do. it's a very simple thing to do you, you can use anything you've got at home just as long as you get the fluffiness back in the cotton fibers then the mattress will last longer and it doesn't matter if it's the cotton fibers or it's the wool fibers or whatever all loose materials they need to be redistributed in the mattress from time to time normally when the mattress is brand new like I said maybe after 14 days you need to fluff it up but normally regularly do it every half a year or something like that that's good enough for the futon of course it's different if you live in a country or, not, or an environment where you move the mattress all the time then you don't need to do it as much but it's still good to do it from time to time give it a good beating and refresh the mattress a little bit okay thank you